My name is Dr. Omoni Yadoye. I'm a filmmaker and a medical practitioner. Please, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ogongo TV, and also press the notification bell so that you'll be updated anytime we upload new content. This is a channel where you will get fantastic, inspirational, entertaining, and soul lifting Christian content. Thanks so much for doing that. I love you. Ogongo TV. The lead on oh, yeah. what I love doing. You know, Jesus said, let the children come unto me, for the earth is the kingdom of God. I also admire you, Wendy, when you sing so passionately on the street. You know, we have been called to serve God in different ways. Well, the Lord will perfect all that concerns us. Amen. The Lord will set you us. Amen.
proposals, no partner, and yet they used to tell us to wait on the Lord. But you see, I went to a different church, just one month, and instantly something changed. I got this proposal for a mom, from a man that changed my life totally. Wow. Well, Mary, we thank God for everything, mm -hmm. but I believe God makes all things beautiful at its own time. Yes. <laughs> Look at her. And when will that be? Ladies, you need to fasten up. Can you come and give you my number? Oh, yes, you're giving us a ride. Oh, of course, yes. you didn't come with any car. So, you need to change your car. Go on there, then. Yeah. I was thinking, my need to see yeah, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> she said, I come in. <laughs> Worship him, bless him, give him praise, give him honor, give him adoration. Father, you are worthy. You are worthy of all honor and adoration. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, you are worthy. You are worthy of all honor and adoration. Bless us as we share from your word. Your word says, The entrance of your word giveth light and understanding to the simple. Lord, let your word come out with precision and accuracy. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. One as if we were. Let's have our seats in the presence of the Most High God. 
This morning I'm sharing with you about an important topic about patience. Everybody say patience. patience. Everybody say patience. patience. In life there are low tides and there are high tides. The low tides are when things are difficult for us. Father Abraham, the Bible said in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15 that he patiently endured. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says we should not be weary in well-doing. We shall reap if we faint not. In the low tide of Father Abraham, he was not patient enough. He gave back to Ishmael. And that's part of the crisis we are still we are still passing through now. If you are going through any pressure, be patient. If you are under pressure, be patient. God will tell you what, but he will never tell you when. Between the promise and the fulfillment is patience. In your low tide, you need to be patient. Because the high tides are coming. Whatever you are going through, I want to encourage you this morning, be patient. Don't rush into anything. Be patient. We are going to rise up on our feet. We are going to rebuke the spirit of impatience. We are going to say, Father, give me grace to patiently wait for that which you have promised. Every spirit of impatience, I come against you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus program in our church tomorrow. Yes, it's around six. You shouldn't miss this program. It changed my life completely. Um. <sighs> no, 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 no. I'll not take no for an answer. I promise I'll think about it. Okay, that's my girl. If you're coming, I'll be waiting for you. Okay, bye. Don't understand. You don't understand. Look, I can't attend. 
attend that workers' meeting tomorrow, that emergency workers' meeting, I have an appointment. Wendy, you know the pastor said it's not planned. The Holy Spirit has just dropped this to me. By the way, which appointment do you have tomorrow? Mary invited me to their, uh, this program in their church tomorrow. And I've given her my word. Besides, I have a leading to attend this program. Wendy, you want to leave your church activities for another church program? You need to be careful, Wendy. Excuse me, James. How many years have we been in this church? Serving since childhood in various capacities. How many? Can you count the number of workers' meetings you have attended? And what do we have to show for it? Executive spinsters. See, excuse me, I'm tired. I need a break. I need a break. Please, when the pastor asks about me, tell him I will explain when I see him myself. Period. Please, Wendy, come back. Wendy! Wendy, please come back. glorious service it was. It was awesome. You see what I was telling you? Healing, miracles and deliverance. I'm impressed. I want to believe that you will join us soon. <laughs> well, uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> I need to come now. Uh, you tough anointing. Oh, that's vision. Young lady. Stand up, stand up. You have been waiting. This is a year of manifestations. You are coming to this church for the first time, right? Your story has just begun to change. Receive the anointing. You know, leave her alone. Let her be, let her be, let her be. Let her be. prophecies and visions from the man of God. I've never seen him before. But when he saw me, he started prophesying as if he knows everything about me. And when he laid hands on me, off I went. Good experience, Wendy. But we need to be careful. We need to have sensitivity. We need to watch all spirits. The Bible says, test all spirits. And what is that supposed to mean? Vigilance. Sensitivity, that is the watchword for this end time. Listen, Joyce, since I've been in this our church, our pastor has never seen any vision, not even one. Wendy, watch your tongue. This is our shepherd you're talking about, you know. He's been our shepherd and he's been teaching us God's word. <sighs> one more thing the man of God said in that day was that when your time has expired in a place. It's time to move on. Meaning? Meaning you move on with your life. Oh my God. Excuse me, just a minute. Hi, Mary. Wow, my dear, that night was the bomb. Yes, I can't wait for another one. Of course I'll be there. Definitely. Okay, bye. Say hi to Martins. Okay. That was Mary. Yeah, that was really. What did she say? Tomorrow is the night of possibilities. The night of uncommon visitation. Night of shakcha. No delay. You need to come along. You need to come along, Jen. Wendy, tomorrow is our joint prayer meeting. Already the pastor is worried about you. The last time we had this emergency workers meeting, you were not there. Look, Joyce, forget about the pastor. I will settle with him. I will settle myself with the pastor. Forget about him. Hmm. Don't worry. Yes, I forget. Okay. Ah, it's almost time for me to go for the kids' club. Oh, the kids' club. Yes. It's today. Yes. Please, okay. I just have to go now. I'll just give you. I'll see you soon, my dear.
that's an understatement. It was fantastic. Oh dear, I'm very sorry. I won't be able to drop you today. Is it okay? It's okay, don't worry. I'll Washita. find my way. Washita. Come and meet my friend, please. Ah, if you don't mind, can you drop her for me? Because I'm going for a meeting. Oh, uh, sure, I can go, no problem. Okay, when I see you to bye. Okay, bye. Bye, Washira. So how did you know my name? Well, um, let's just say maybe I'm a psychic <laughs> and change my car. So. Victim to the spirit of this end time, the spirit of lukewarmness, deception, and compromise. He, a dedicated sister like Wendy suddenly begins to lose interest in church activities. She has stopped coming to prayer meetings and workers meeting. I mean, something is wrong somewhere. Yeah. And we've tried her line several times, she's not picking. Yes. Sister Joyce said that she has been avoiding her. See, we need to pay her a surprise visit. And we have to do that fast, Pastor. Hey, but before we do that, we need to pray. And bind this terrible spirit of the end. Hmm. You know, Mary was taken away like that. Yes, 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 yes. Now it's Wendy. Yes. If we don't stop, there are many, other, many of our mature singles ah. that the devil may want to occur. We must rise up. And pray against this spirit that it will that it, his invasion must stop in this church. Yes. Let's pray. Let's be to pray. Yes, pray. Let's come against the spirit of deception. Yes. The spirit of impatience yes. that is coming upon our coming sisters. Against, Let we bind every spirit because of there is a way that's in every rise. satanic altar. But it leads to destruction. Every satanic you altar leads to the gifts of our sisters. From the life of our sisters. We put a stop to your activities. We render you the effective of our bodies over their life. We say we put a stop to it. Because you really compassed about us like this. But you are all quenched as fire of thunders. We destroy your plans. We put a stop to your motions. In the name of Jesus. If we pray for sisters. Remember in the scripture, 
book of Luke, when um, Elizabeth visited Mary when she was pregnant, the child in her womb lived a little bit. That was a confirmation that Mary is carrying a Messiah. And on my own case with me, I think I've gotten a confirmation. Yes, Mary. With me. Will you marry me? about your welfare. Yes. You stop coming to church. You stop attending our services. Do not be discouraged. Yes. God is going to settle you. Yes, Wendy. You have waited enough. You have traveled. In fact, you are about to give birth. Yes, mommy. You are right. In fact, the baby is already here. But won't be delivered in the hospital, do you think? What do you mean? Hope deferred makes the heart grow weary. Psalms 90 verse 14 says, Satisfy as early, Daddy, Mommy. I've labored and waited on the Lord long enough. My time has expired. It's time to move on. In fact, I've moved on. Wendy, moved on to where? To where things happen instantly and suddenly. Pastor, I've been in this church so, so many years. And no husband, no serious proposal from any serious man. All you keep saying is, your time will come. Pastor, this is my time. At York Breakers Chapel, things, yokes are broken instantly. Yes, Pastor, step up your anointing. Things have changed. <laughs> the role of great cause has not changed. Yes. It's a pity you're falling victim into the spirit of lukewarmness at the same time. Because the scripture says that in the last days, people will no longer endure doctrines. They will raise up teachers because they have it in years. Pastor, all these years, you've never seen any vision for me. At your breakers chapel, the pastor saw correct visions about me. And very soon, Pastor, you'll see me walk at the altar, down the aisle. The God of you breakers have done it for me. <coughs> ah! Ah, to pity Wendy. We raised you up like an eagle. Yes. But now you are behaving like a chicken. The world is sick and tired of children. They are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Yes. They are tired of children tossed to and fro by all manner of doctrines and deceitfulness of men. Charismatic, nomadic Christians who will move from one church to the other seeking for men, not God. Yes. But in our own assembly, we have decided to wait upon the Lord to do things in His own time. We are resolute like the Hebrews. Yes. Like those three Hebrews. That if our God save us, fine. If He doesn't, we will not bow down to any straight God. Yes. Look, Wendy. 
We shall be praying for you that God will have mercy on you. We will not give up. Wendy, let us pray. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. I don't think that's necessary. Our spiritual wavelength is conflicting. No, Come in. Martin. <laughs> bishop? You say Bishop? When I give my tithe, my offering regularly, what else? Oh. Oh. My Bishop. Yes, 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 yes. I can't make it today. Yes, I'm tired, I'm tired. No, those special offerings. The cover. Yes, covenant offering. My tithe. I will package it. Yes, 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 yes. Just send someone to pick it. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, I'm going to send my um, oil, my anointing. Well, just pray, just pray, just pray on me, just pray on me. That's my vision. <laughs> That's why you are always my vision. Thank you, thank you. You see? That's the vision that you're busy here telling me to go to church. Not again. Stop it, please. Stop it. Woman! Stop it. Please. Woman! Oh, God. This is Look not you, Martin. This is, this is you. me. This is Martin. This is the husband you've married. <laughs> Will send. Of course. I know you are here for the tithe and offering. Uh, yeah. The endowment have not changed. The beauty have not changed. Uh -huh. Mama, 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 that's my baby. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. Before I give you all these things, we need to do some. You know, some. we need to do some. some. The usual, mm -hmm. the usual. Uh -huh. So can we actually go and come get? on? That's my mom. Look at it. So what's happening with my goods? Oh, 
Oh, Mr. Kimani, that's what I'm just trying to check for you. I want to actually give you the actual date. Yeah. You're good to be ready next week by Friday. Are you okay with that? Okay, are you sure to come on Friday? You will. Later by Friday, we'll give you the call. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kimani. your phone number. Mm. Even the place you're living, you're no more living there. Is that right? I've been so worried. Never mind. You know, when the Lord turns back the captivity of Zion, we were all like those who dreamed. But now, things are just happening so fast. And, my God. God. You look uncoordinated in the spirit. There's something wrong somewhere. Surprise! Really? Wow! Who is Waishira? Where did you meet him? Just in the space of this few months? Or what? Mary was right. At the um, York Breakers Chapel, things happen chap chap. Yeah? And suddenly too. When he proposed, my heart clicked. So what next? There's no time to waste. In mm. fact, your pastor came, saw him when they came visiting. Mm. And I'm glad they were there because they witnessed this miraculous thing God is doing in my life right now. Mm. You have to come to my wedding. Mm. I know your pastor will try to discourage you, but you're still my friend, aren't you? Mm. Wendy, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you too. Age is not on your side. Listen, Mary has settled down big time with a solid man. And soon me too. And that's because we took a move. We took a step. Okay? Listen, if Elijah did not leave the brook of Cherub when it dried up, he would have died of hunger. Okay, mm. so you have overstayed in Cherith. Okay, God would do it. No, I'm waiting no. on Him. God is waiting on you to make that move. Okay, oh my God, it's time I have to go to meet so with sorry. my wedding planner. So mm -hmm. Okay, hope to see you soon. Think about it. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Wendy, God, I'm worried. I'm so worried about you. Can you stay real? proposals, no partner, and yet they used to tell us to wait on the Lord. But you see, I went to a different church, just one month, and instantly something changed. I got this proposal for a mom, from a man that changed my life totally. solid man and soon me too and that's because we took a move we took a step okay listen if Elijah did not leave the brook of Cherith when it dried up 
You will have died of hunger. Okay? So, you have overstayed in Cherith. We need to be patient. Impatience can make you take decisions that could be very costly and could be devastating. Whatever you are going through, I want to encourage you this morning, be patient. Just relax, let me go and make you food, okay, mommy? By the way, I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh. And as you go to prepare my food, I just want you to know one thing. This matter. By the way, I put this up Thank you. Don't worry, I'm going to get married. You just feel relaxed, mommy. Relax yourself. It's probably it's all the way from Kiki. No, why? Thank you, mommy. Ah. Just in a minute, I'll make you a gully. Okay, mommy, you just relax. Now, children, let's recite your memory verse. Philippians 4, 4. 1, 2. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Very good. Clap yourself. Okay. Oh, sorry. You will be wearing Jesus' name. 
<coughs> Children, please let's pray for her. Close your eyes. In Jesus' name, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. our Father and our God, we thank you, O Lord, for our children, because you are the one that gives them to us, Lord. Father, Lord, we bring forth your daughter, Wumbi. She's not feeling okay. Father, please heal her, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you said no one will be sick, O Lord. Father, Lord, you've taken away all our infirmities, O Lord, on your cross. Father, Lord, heal her. Father, let her be strong, O Lord. Wash her, wash her, O Lord, with your precious blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Auntie, the doctor said I'm seriously sick. I am taking a lot of drugs. Auntie, will I be okay? Yes, my dear, you'll be okay in Jesus' name. Jesus says there's nothing impossible for him to do. Okay? Hmm? Yes, I think my driver is here. Okay. Let me check with him. Because she will not die, or she will live to declare your work, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I thank you, Lord, because your word says that you've taken away, O oh Lord, our infirmities. O oh Lord, Father, Lord, you said your chastisement of our peace, O oh Lord. My Father, my God, we pray, O oh Lord, I should heal her, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are the one, O oh Lord, that healed, O oh Lord, the sick man that was sick for 38 years at the the pool of Bethsaida. If our Lord that has done this will do this, O oh Lord, for Mumbi in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father and our God will take every sickness away from her and she will be made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you for healing her. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray that we give thanks. Mm. Thank you, Auntie. Thank God. Madam, please let her rest. Leave me. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, because it taught you half of her. He said that her thoughts of good and not of evil, oh no. My father, my God, because you wish for her a good expected end. My father, my God, I pray, oh Lord, that you break every evil negative link, oh Lord, with that sin and our forefathers, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my God, I pray, oh Lord, that you should break, oh Lord, every evil passage, oh Lord, and continuity of evil in our family, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity, Father, Lord, break on our behalf, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I pray, O oh Lord, I stand in gap, O oh Lord, and I pray for mercy. Father, Lord, have mercy on her being, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord, on her link, link, lineage, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord, concerning her and her forefathers. Father, heal her, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, please heal her from every infirmity, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, please help. Father, Lord, give her healing, O oh Lord. Your Excellency, I yes, can't believe this. Can't believe what? Can't believe this. 
You can't believe what Dr. There Wright is no about. trace of ailment in her system. No any There's trace. no traces of any symptoms in there her body anymore? No trace, no trace at all. What at does all, that at mean? All. Uh, I am, I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. You can't believe what? That's Daddy. it. Yes, my daughter. And she just prayed with me in the night. Who is this St. Joyce you are talking about? I saw a white man like a doctor. Uh -huh. He opened me and took something away. Okay, so and then? I saw Auntie Joyce with him. Okay. That must be Jesus. Hmm? Excuse me. Excuse me. So you're okay now, right? You feeling better? Oh, hello, sir. Hey, how are you? Hi, thank you. Auntie Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. How are you? Oh. Hi. What are you doing now? I'm okay. Now. Okay? Yes. Praise God! Jesus did it. Hallelujah! So, are you this same Joyce Wombi I've been talking about? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you so much. I understand that the sinker cannot be found in a body anymore. Oh, praise God! Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I heard you pray with him. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Good to see you. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. So thank happy you. Oh. I'm so happy to see you. Okay. Ah. It's good to see you, my dear. My sister, we really appreciate your effort. In this church, the Lord will reward you. Joyce, you don't have to be moved by the fact that your friends have left the church and are now married. God has greater plans for you. Just be patient. Please, be patient. You see, my sister, the old rugged cross has not changed. Mm, yes. You understand? God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love which you have shown towards his name. Yes. Just hold on. Mm. Just hold on. <laughs> mm. Mommy, Daddy, it has not been easy. Mm. It has not been easy at all. Mm -hmm. It's a great battle. There have been pressures everywhere. Mm -hmm. Pressures from friends, mm -hmm. pressures from the church, mm -hmm. even from my family members. Mm -hmm. I need grace. See, my sister, at this same time, only those that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Yes. And I want you to know that you will surely testify in Jesus' name. Joyce, you will testify. Hmm. See, my sister, just stay in your calling. Yes. Be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, hmm. knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yes. Your allocation will surely meet you in your location. Hmm. Let's pray with her. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We commit your daughter unto your hands. Uphold her. Give her grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, what's this place? Yes. Your Excellency, sir. Where's my girl? Oh, to God be the glory, sir. Uh, uh, um, um, please, is this your number, sir? I'll, I'll call you, sir. You're welcome, sir. I will wait for you, Lord Jesus. I want to move. Unless you ask me to, I will always seek your guide. You know, Joyce, God used you greatly for me and my family. I must tell you. You know, when, uh, when we got married, my late wife had uh, a delay in childbearing, and we both fasted and prayed. And as a result, God gave us Wumbi. Mm. I must tell you what a happy family. Well, 
My wife was diagnosed of uh, cancer. Hmm. Yeah, and that we prayed all kind of prayer, my dear. We saw the best medical practitioners in, in the country and overseas. We spent them, um, but eventually the cancer took a life. Well, I must tell you, it's that changed everything. I was so bitter, you know, when you prayed, you fast, but nothing happened. Mm. What? You know, there's one thing I just want to thank you for. You know, it's how Wumbi has been talking about you and how she's so fond of going to your church. And I've been trying to encourage her by asking my driver to be dropping her, you know, in your church, even though I'm sitting at home. <laughs> oh, my dear, you know, I must tell you, I was afraid when Wombi was diagnosed of the same sickness that took her mother's life. You know, but, you know, when I look at the unusual that happened about the miracle, how she just got healed, I wonder. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is an unusual because that's him, and same sickness killed her mother. Mm. Wow, there's something special about you and your church. The power of God. <sighs> you can say that again, my dear. And you know that Mumbi um, is fond of you. And I want to thank you for the love mm -hmm. and the care you've shown to her. To God be the glory. Thank you, my dear. You know, I used to see a mother in her, how her mother used to love the Lord. She used to go to church. And I can see that in that young girl. And do you know what thing I want you to know? The love that you're showing to her and the care that you're showing to her. You know, I feel amazed that, yeah, she has found it again. Well, you know, when I look at what God has done for me and my family and for the life of that young girl, you know, I think, uh, you know, I feel so ashamed that I left the faith, you know, and I must tell you, it's so painful, but I want to rededicate my life. Amen. To God Amen. I want to rededicate my life. Praise God. I want to rededicate my life, and I, 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 I want to. I don't know what, how to go back, how to do that, but I just want to to go back to faith because the life of womb is a miracle. And that's us, you know, change everything in this home. And I want to pray. If you don't mind, yeah. I want to pray. I hope you. Can you lead me in prayers? Yes. Yeah, I want to rededicate my life to God. I feel like I've been ungrateful to what God has done. <sighs> Father Lord, we thank you. King of kings, we just want to give you the glory for this moment, Lord. This can be you and you alone, Daddy. If I don't say your name, you'll be exalted in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Yoke Breakers Assembly. My name is Bishop Cairo. People of God, this message is for you. I want to let you know that no man on earth is indispensable. When the devil failed, and sinned against God, God sent him out of heaven with all his rebellious angels. So if your wife is disobedient and obstinate, adamant, what is he doing there again in your house? Send her back in. Get rid of Old Testament so that I can allow new things to come. Woo! Right on, Pastor. The Bible says, 
In the middle of the week. Yeah, midweek service. It's the middle of the week. You're supposed to tell me. You're not supposed to be doing things in this house just like that. I'm a Christian. I don't need to tell you. So that. we are all Christians. We don't go to church often. This house, I say things. You don't. So. Church. Now, go back to your room. Hakuna mahali unaenda. Siendi, naenda kanisani, sirudi na. We are not arguing with you, Wendy. You are not going anywhere. Naenda kanisani. Go back to the room, ukae huko. Sirudi, naenda kanisani. I'm going to church. Doing man? Uh -huh. I've been indoors all along. Imagine. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to have that. Yes, please. Give me less than 30 minutes. I'll be there. Sawa sawa. Yeah, we have to burn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I'll be there. And where are you going? To the club, of course. To the club. You want to go to the club, and I want to go to church, and you will not allow me. It's my house. You are mine. I'm going to church. Whatever I, I call shorts here, Wendy. You listen. Oh, by the way, before I forgot, Bishop Cairo just said here, Sir God fired his own Lucifer. And what is that? Watch woman. Story? You might be fired very soon. I'm going to church. You're not going to business. Ah, my friend. Ah, Mr. Nen. The containers are coming. Next week they'll be here. Are you serious? Those Japanese? Yeah. Are dope, man. I tell you, that's why I love doing business with them. <laughs> I tell I you. I love, you, 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 you just go sit down, relax, and everything is done. Perfect. By the way, mm -hmm. how have been your wife? Ah, her man. I don't even want to call her babe anymore. What? You know, she's proving a little bit stubborn and, uh, Sticking to her old you know, traditions. I told you, that's why I don't need a wife. I don't need a, all I need a lady that will just give me two beeps, two children, and dispatch her. What? <laughs> you, you're bad, man. Uh, really bad. Yeah. Mary have become oh. all fashion. I don't need her again. You know, the purpose of us going to that church, of course, yes, was to get new babes. Yeah. Use them. Get and tired interchange, and interchange yes, them. Yes, it will yes, change yes. back, you guys. Yes. I, I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> the Old Testament. <laughs> That's a but, Martin, you're nasty. <laughs> there are things you keep and there are things you let go. All we need, we just need some. Mm -hmm. That's it. Why do we bother ourselves? We have the money, we have everything, mm -hmm. we get them, use them, and dump them. Mm -hmm. the, the latest! You're also contagiously in the. Hey, babes! Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow. 8 p.m. on the dot. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Why? 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 Test. They say delay is dangerous. We need to get hit. Mm-hmm. Then what they want? Oh yes. And but that's the baby. Let me pick this. Okay. Please. I'm okay. Okay. Thank you. Pick this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let me come in. I'm. I'm bringing. Ng. Ng. <laughs> My beautiful Ng. Like turn, Ooh, turn around. Then is it? You know? Who, 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 who? Oh, give, oh, give, oh, give, oh, give, oh. give, 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 I, I. Oh. You know, that's what I'm saying. Brother. And on the eighth day, God, God created this one. This beauty, this, this angel. A new beginning. And also promise to give me a full restoration. Hmm. This is God's doing and his marvelous in our lives. You know, Joseph, I've come to realize one thing, that all things work together for good. Hmm. Joyce, I found what was missing. What? My missing rib. Hmm. Joyce, will you marry me? Lord Jesus, I won't move unless you ask me to. I will always seek your guidance with faith, looking up to you. Problem with that? Of course, I'm your wife for crying out loud. Oh, you forgot what Bishop Cairo told us. God fired Lucifer. My dear, you got fired. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. Fired. Of course, you got fired. You beast! Excuse me, how many years have we been in this church? Seven. 
suffering since childhood in various capacities. How many? Can you count the number of workers' meetings you have attended? And what do you have to show for it? Executive spinsters. See, excuse me, I'm tired. I need a break. I need a break. One more thing that man of God said was that once you have spent your time in a place for them and your time expires, it's time to move on. Come here. Come back to my mother's house after what Washira did, and I just wish I listened to Pastor and um, Pastor when they came to my house. Look at Joyce. And me, I wish I had listened to Joyce. I don't know that things have changed totally. I've gone back to square one. Martin has destroyed my life. See, all I, I looked for in a man, I was strong. I only followed money because he had a big house, a car. But after I got all that, look at me now. I'm back to square one. I wish I could have listened to Joyce. It's okay. Stop crying. I don't know how to. I know this. Welcome to News on the Hour. I'm Rene Linda. First on the headlines. The government commissioned a thousand housing units in Mombasa. The Kenya shilling rises 2.1 against the US dollar. Ambassador Maina gets married to a young lady, Joyce Odongo, at Living Truth Assembly. Our reporter, Karen Odera, has the details. Wait. It was joy and celebration today at Ambassador Maina got up to his heart from oh Miss Joyce God. Odongo at Living Truth Assembly. I have with me the executive bridegroom, Ambassador Maina. Hello, Your Excellency. Hello. How do you feel? Oh, young lady, I'm very happy and I want to thank God for this moment in our life. Uh, I found a replacement for my late wife, a jewel of an inestimable value. And I believe what God has started in our life shall be forever. Mm -hmm. It's what a wonderful moment and to have. I think I'm lucky to have this beautiful king. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's hear from the lucky bride. How do you feel? Mm. In fact, I'm short of words. I just thank God for everything. I know he makes his own things beautiful at his own time. It pays to wait on God. I have with me the pastor of the church, Reverend Becky. What can you say about this? Ah, oh, today is a very happy day for me. I'm happy for Joyce. She's been a dedicated and committed child of God here. So today, I think it's one of the payday for her. I'm happy. <laughs> and what advice can you give to our spinster? Well, my advice to the spinsters out there is that they should wait for God's time. He makes everything beautiful in his own time. They should not cut the cross. They should not be impatient. They should wait for that great thing God is planning for them. From Living Truth Assembly, Nairobi, Caroline Odera, reporting for Zion Television. Oh God, I'm sorry.
cross is too heavy. Yes. I thought I'm the only one feeling it. What can we do? I think we should reduce it and make it more lighter. Please. Let's endure. Let's endure it, please. And do my foot. Oh, uh, come on, let's cut it. Yes, that way it, make, it will make the journey easy. <laughs> Good idea. Let's cut it. Oh God, I wasn't patient. It's okay. It's okay. God forgive us. Oh God, forgive us, oh God. Forgive us for letting you down, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I wish I knew I could have listened. Oh, I could have listened. I could have listened, oh God. I will wait for you, Lord Jesus. I won't move unless you ask me to. I will always seek your guidance with faith. Do you? 